Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching In Depth on Now You Know. All right, so every news cycle, it seems, we talk about a car that's going to come out in 2020. Yes, and it's the magical date. Yes. All things EVs, are... it's like it's like they're drilling into the earth and they plan that they're going to hit this big battery in 2020. The cars and then, are just going to spew out. Yeah, they're just going to fly out of it. It's so weird that they're all coming out at the exact same time. Yeah, well, and, and so we've been reporting on it, but mm -hmm. we just realized the other day that, like, we never keep track of it. So right. we tried to go through our notes and find all the cars that we can find that are EVs. Mm -hmm. So that means um, battery EVs. Right. With a range of 200 miles plus, mm -hmm. at least what they've said will be that. So yep. don't hold us to it. Right. Um, and so here's what we come up with. No particular order. Uh, let's start with the Mercedes-Benz EQA. Yeah. This is the blue glowing future look. Yeah. So it has this awful grill, in my opinion. It's awful. You might like it. Um, it's a full battery electric Mercedes first. Yeah, it's appears. the first. It'll be uh, sort of an SUV. It might compete with the Model X or maybe it won't. Um, we'll have to see. The next is the Mini Cooper E, yep. Mini E, and that is a company that's owned by BMW, which I didn't know until recently. They've uh, BMW's owned Cooper since um, 1994. Mini or, or is, Mini it, is e? it Mini? Is it Cooper? I don't know. Yeah, who's, it, who's it was Cooper? a British car company bought by BMW. Yep. Um, the Mini E could be a cool car. Yep. The Honda Urban EV we just heard about this came out recently, and yep. it looks like a. a Golf like from old, the 70s. Yeah, very old Golf. It's so funny how similar it looks. You'd think they'd be sued for it almost. It's yeah, crazy. You, you like the look, though. And uh, I, I like that it has... You You said something was interesting. You said it looked like uh, it came from like the movie um, WALL-E. That... I think you said that. Oh. Yeah. What, I don't know. It looks It looks like a like Disney might have invented yeah. it to be cute. Right. Audi has a couple here. Uh, the Audi Icon. Acon? A icon? Something. Uh, cool design. Like, you can open it wide open. Yeah. Um, so, it's like suicide doors, you call that? Right. Or, I mean, and keep in coach, mind that... Coach this, style doors. Yeah, I mean, this is a... Uh, concept. It's a concept. So... But, hey, 2020, it's going to be here. The Audi Elaine. Mm -hmm. Is that named after Seinfeld? Elaine! <laughs> You're an electric car! Uh, let's see. We'll go right on to the BMW iVision. Mm -hmm. This could be cool. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's... I guess it's when you get through the eye series and now you're into eye vision. I guess so. I mean, is it meant for optometrists? I. It seems like if I was an optometrist, I would drive this car, <laughs> hands down, no question about it. Going back to Audi, the Audi e-tron Sportback mm -hmm. crossover that, that should be uh, 2019. Yeah, but come on, let's be honest. A lot of these dates, I'm sure, are like when they'll have a prototype. It's, that, yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, we don't. 2020 know. is when. Right. We're all going to be driving them. Yeah. And then the Audi e-tron Quattro crossover, yes. which should be in April 2018, which is not very far away. So I'm very okay. excited to see when yeah. this is going to come out. Now, we've got uh, the BMW 3 Series. So is it they're just going to electrify the 3 Series? They might. I think they're definitely going to give it a bit of a refresh. Because, I mean, this would be in direct competition with the Model 3, the Tesla Model 3. Right. And then there's the BMW X3, which we've seen the concept for, which is wild it's going to come out in 2020 mm -hmm. uh supposedly i do you think they're going to keep the magic fairings or do you think they're going to get rid of it the the sort of the fabricy oh, right. turning magic uh i think a lot of things will hit the chopping block when they yeah. try and get it made but who um, knows magic okay so this one kind of bothers me what this is the ford model e crossover yeah. Um, wow, it's they the... totally are trying to steal Tesla's thunder because, I mean, t Tesla was supposed to be the Model E. Yeah. And then they stole it. Well, they didn't steal it. They owned the Model E as a well, trademark. Yes, and but they, they didn't make one. Now they're making one. Right. But, yeah, so they've... I kind of have some harsh feelings about this, yeah, yeah. but whatever. Uh, the Jaguar I-Pace crossover, mm -hmm. that's going to... Could come out in 2018, yep. but, again... 2020 is when we'll have yep. it available. Uh, the Mercedes ELC, which is based on the GLC, mm -hmm. E being electric. Right. Uh, the Mercedes C-Class, that's all going to be electrified. Mm -hmm. Then we got the Porsche Mission E. That's going to be a huge car, yep. we think. It could be cool because it's going to fast charging and all that. Uh, the, the Smart BEV, um, this is... I guess we'll have the range by then, they yeah. hope. So, I mean, we there is a smart EV that you right. can get now, but, but it doesn't have the range. It does not have the range. Right. 200 uh, miles is the magic number. Right. Volvo should be coming out with an EV sometime in 2019. 
Um, right, because all of their cars are going to be electrified. This will be the first battery fully EV electric. that's with a 200 mile range. Right. Uh, the VW ID Cross crossover crossover. I don't know. This one isn't really shouldn't be on the list because it's coming out in 2021. Oh right. So I mean, okay. look, we'll we'll still look for it. Um, also, the VW ID. Oh right, that's not going to be ready till just over the line, January 2021. Yep. Okay. Um, um, but now let's mention all the cars that. Uh, the Tesla will have. Uh, yes. They'll have the S and the X, obviously, mm -hmm. and the three. Mm -hmm. um, and they should have the Model Y. Yep. Um, that'll be the the crossover, mini crossover, kind of uh, based on the Model Three powertrain. Yep. They'll have the Semi. Yeah, I mean that's the a, Tesla Semi. That will I mean, have the range of two hundred miles. Right. I don't know why it's in this class, but you know, if you got the money, you might want to drive one. Just right. Don't uh, put the trailer on the back. The pickup truck. Yeah, I mean that's going to be ready sooner than we think. Right. We think. We yep. hope. Um, and that would also have the range. Yep. Don't want to forget to mention the Chevy Bolt. It's already got the 200 plus miles of mm -hmm. range. It's 238. Um, the Nissan Leaf might be on this list. We can't say for sure, but I'm going to guess it will be because the 2018 uh, has, what, 156? 150 or so, yeah. So I'm thinking they'll be able to squeeze it to 200. The Volkswagen e-Golf might be on the list. They Again, they might be able to squeeze, squeeze it. it up. The Lucid Air should hopefully be there. This is one of the, the newer car companies on the list. Hopefully they can get something out on time. Uh, not going to mention the Faraday future. I don't think there's much of a future in it. Um, they could pull it out, but yeah, not not making the list. And I'm just going to throw this last one on there because I think Neo is a cool company. The Neo Eve might make it by 2020. Yeah. Um, you probably have some others that we forgot or didn't find in our notes. Um, please leave them in the comments. Yeah, it'll be a fun list to look at. Yeah, um, because I'm sure there's there's a ton of smaller car companies. I mean the Bollinger. B1, for yep. example. Yep. Um, yeah, it's not, that. you know, I mean, yeah, that that's a car that's um, not in production yet, but they, mm -hmm. they might be able to pull it off by right. 2020. There's also the uh, Scion Sono, which is a solar-powered car. We didn't put it on the list because it doesn't have the range, but maybe by 2020 it will, because mm -hmm. magic things are going to happen in 2020. That's Sprinkled true. EV dust everywhere. There's going to be so many cars to choose from. Yeah. We're being a little facetious here, but it's going to be exciting as more and more car companies really start ramping it up and they, they get their engineers. Don't forget, most car company engineers have been building ICE cars their entire lives. It's true. They laugh at what's going on in EVs, um, especially the older they get. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for these companies. They have to find younger engineers or train their older engineers. Yeah. And I'm guessing that companies like Tesla are gobbling up the good ones. Yep. All right. So thank you so much for watching this episode of In Depth. Again, if you have any ideas of uh, e other EVs that are going to be out by 2020, put please put them in the comments. Yeah. It's so it's super exciting. Please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now you now know. You know.